Hey there, Foxy Gamers! Welcome back to The Long Dark. I just died in my Subnautica series, and I hope I'm not going to die in this series today. So fingers crossed that we make it out okay today. But it does sound like it's a bad weather day outside, so we are going to start with working on our deerskin boots. And we'll see what the weather is like in a couple hours. Alright, sounds like the weather has perhaps backed off a little bit. We are down to seven hours remaining on crafting our boots. But for the meantime, can I make it upstairs without turning on the lantern? Nope, apparently not. Because I am that bad at navigating around. I believe in real life I would be better because I could actually, you know, use my arms and hands to reach for the things that are out in front of me, but alas, not here. So we definitely want to make sure we have enough water on us. Oh, we do not. Only 0.8 liters. Fortunately, we have enough in storage, so I will grab some of that because I never seem to know when we're gonna get stuck outside. Let's see, do we wanna eat this meat? Yeah, let's, just in case. Better safe than sorry, and fingers crossed that I don't get food poisoning. Hooray. All right, I might wanna take just another half liter or so of water. Yeah, that, that should do it. And Sophie is in crazy cat mode once again. Alright, I'm gonna double check my inventory here because it has been a little while since I played and I just want to make sure I'm not carrying anything unnecessary. Ah, we are carrying some coal that we don't necessarily need. Drop off a couple of those pieces, but I will keep one because I would like to potentially start a fire by the bear carcass in order to harvest that, depending on how warm it is outside. So let's have a look. Alright, not bad. Negative one. I can deal with that. Oh shoot, that's right. I forgot I need to figure out where our mountaineering rope is too, so that we can potentially get across that bridge. Perm. Um, I might go ahead and harvest these carcasses a bit first because we are out of food and don't tell me I can- oh no. Oh no. It's a bad way to start. Alright, well I guess we're walking around the other side. I should have just stayed on the road, but no. We can't be smart in this game. All right, I forgot I want to go harvest the rabbit corpses so that we can make our rabbit skin gloves and potentially set up those snares to capture some more rabbits. We're probably done with rabbits in this area for a few days until they respawn because I think we captured two this time around. We already captured one. And there's probably not a huge number of rabbits hopping around. In fact, I haven't seen one yet walking across this bridge like I usually do, so ha 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 ha. We are going to have them for dinner! Come here, little rabbitses! Ooh, let's pick up the stick while we're here. Yes. Yes, gimme the rabbits! All of the things! An hour and sixteen minutes, that's fine. We'll be fine. Not a huge amount of daylight left during our days anymore. Probably coming up on winter time, which may be bad news bears for us. Let's see, where is our snare? There we go. We'll just go ahead and place it in the exact same spot since that seems to work out very well. Rabbits aren't smart. They don't figure out where the traps are, right? Okay, let's see our other one. Yes, there we are. Don't mind if I do. Thank you, little rabbit. So sorry about your demise. Sorry, not sorry. 
And it looks like it's starting to get pretty cold. So, uh, no, actually it's not too bad. But we maybe don't want to hang out here for too long. I don't know if the snares actually need to be reset or not. But I feel like I probably should pick them up and place them down again. Yeah, they do look different. So that seems to be a good idea. All right. Well, the weather is picking up. So we may not have too much time after all to go exploring. Let's chop down. Oh. Oh, we're warmer. That's weird. How did it get warm here all of a sudden? Okay. Well then, I guess we were just sheltered from the wind and that was enough. Uh, but, yeah, it looks like we might want to head back to our base. Maybe hack at the bear carcass for just a little bit since it's not too far away. But, we are definitely fighting a... Uh, headwind right now and I don't want to get caught out in a really bad situation also I apologize if you guys can see I have like a freaking eye twitch going on right now I don't know what that's about probably just uh, spending too much time on the computer between work and and YouTubing I just oh my god so many hours a week you guys I've been working so much overtime you don't even know. I mean, I guess not that much compared to some people, but it is a lot, and it kind of just wears me out after a while. Between that and, like, really wanting to, you know, ride my bike, go to the gym, that sort of thing, and, and also maintain a social life with my friends, plus my very much needed eight hours of sleep at night, I just, I don't have a lot of extra time these days. All right, yeah, we're gonna break down this one more cedar limb, and we'll have to call it a day, because the weather is not really cooperating. Of course, as soon as I say that, it starts getting a little better, but four hours of daylight left, and we're kind of cold, thirsty, hungry, all that good stuff, so we'll... <laughs> Thank you, Sophie. Um, we'll go in, cook ourselves up some rabbit meat and some more water, and then I'll go ahead and make this episode a second day again, because that seemed to work pretty well last time, and that's much better than having, like, a... Yeah, we're only at ten minutes right now, which will be even shorter than that by the time I edit it. So, yeah, see you guys in a moment. Alright, welcome back, guys. We have a whole bunch of water, which, in fact, I should probably drop off here, because we do not need to be carrying this much. Uh, but the rabbit food did not really last us for very long, so we may, in fact, have to go harvest... Oh, God, yeah, we're already almost starving. Shoot! I'm having trouble making any progress in this game, guys. I want to go back and, and get our mountaineering rope so that we can go over to the other map. But I'm having trouble being able to get there. Um, I do believe I left our mountaineering rope in the mines somewhere. So, I think we should try to go there. Hope that, uh, let me through, please. God damn it. Hope that it doesn't take us all day. We have 12 hours of daylight. That's okay. It's not very warm out at all, but we should be fine inside the mines. And then if the weather cooperates by the time we get back, we will potentially have time to go harvest something from that bear carcass. If not, we have our emergency peanut butter and tea, but it is just that. Emergency, and I don't want to use it unless I absolutely have to. So we will go jump in the mine entrance that is right over here, because it is negative 14 degrees Celsius out, and we are going to get cold very, very fast if we try to go over to the other side. I think I do have enough 
kindling on me if we do need to make a fire somewhere for whatever reason, whether it's to harvest a corpse or boil water, which, I mean, we're not going to be needing to boil water before we need to cook something, so that's not a huge concern at the moment. All right, well, hopefully we're successful in finding this rope, guys. Looks like it's time to use our lantern. I guess this is what that fuel is for, huh? All right, guys, the mine does not seem to go all the way through like I thought it did. So... It looks like we'll have to step outside for a moment, which means we may be encountering some wolves. But this should be on the lighthouse side, I believe. So, worst case scenario, we can head back over there later. Whoops, I do not need to be wasting our lantern fuel, though. Alright. I know there are some wolves out on the road here because when oh god there's the deer when we first came over to this map I definitely remember encountering some wolves but we're not scared of those anymore right yeah wolves are fine unless we encounter two at one then I'm a little bit more worried okay but I think this is the way to our mine back up in here Obviously, there's been a lot of windstorms coming through because there are a, a lot of sticks on the ground right now. I'm also trying to keep an eye out for other things that I may have been missing in the past, like the saplings, apparently, or else uh, lichen. There should be lichen in some places. And... There could be cattails, but I think that's more going to be along by the lakes. Uh, is this the right way? I don't know. I'm probably going the outside way, which means I'm getting colder and tired more quickly. Nope, this was the wrong way. Heading back. I'll take the other turn. Pretty sure that one goes to the mine entrance. Aha! Some rose hips that I have missed. I am down with gathering some of those. Since we only have like one cup of rose hip tea, I will take whatever I can find. I do not think this is the way that I think it is. Oh god. What? Where am I going now? What's happening? Oh! That's the church. Okay, I don't know. Maybe the other way was the right way. I guess we're going back. Ah, here we go again. I feel like I hear a wolf. Or is that my stomach growling? I don't know. There's going to be a wolf over here, isn't there? Oh boy. Oh, look at that. We've been alive for 30 days. What do you know, guys? Oh boy. Well, here's our mine entrance. Oh, and look at that. Look! I had a fire over here and I didn't even see these fucking rose hips. God, what an idiot. Oh, don't squeak at me. Don't you dare squeak at me! Alright. Well. Oh, please tell me we left something in this mine that I can eat or otherwise consume. There's a lantern. How much How much uh, fuel is in there? Not enough for me to bother carrying it. Actually, what the hell. We'll carry it to the other side of the mine. And then we'll leave it there. Okay. Anything in here that we want? Oh, there's a rifle cartridge, but it's not like we have our fucking gun anymore, because uh, we did a number on that one. Sorry, Luke. 
All right, I'll see you on the other side. Well, hey, looky there! Our mountaineering rope, what do you know, guys? Anything else that we left back here? I can't believe that's all we left was the freaking mountaineering rope. And there goes the rest of our lantern fuel. So I'm just gonna set it down there. What is the fuel situation like on this one? 0.7, okay. So we just used 0.15 liters to get here. Ah, uh, do I want to check outside here? Let's just take a quick peek and see if I missed any rose hips or anything like that. Just right in this vicinity, because I do believe there are going to be wolves here. Old Island Connector. Yeah, that's right. This was kind of a different map, wasn't it? And the mines were the connector to this map. Oh, nope. Nope, no thanks. I think I hear wolf. No thank you. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna double check real quick here, make sure there's nothing else sitting around that I care about. Anything back in the, behind the crate? No? Okay. Nothing under there. Alrighty. Well, back we go. Okay, not the best temperature out, but hopefully we're warm enough that we can at least make it to the lighthouse and cut off some trip for tomorrow, some of our trip. All right. Yeah, we're gonna go out to the road and see how cold we are by the time we get there. And also check out our wolf situation. Alright, well, we have nine hours of daylight left, which is nice. Uh, we are very likely to encounter some wolves from this spot, although our buck is just kind of hanging out, chilling, maxing, relaxing, all cool, shooting some bee ball outside of the school. And, oh, now he's getting stirred up. Hopefully that's just from us. Do do do. Don't remember what's back up this way. Oh, that's our other mine entrance, isn't it? Uh, is, is that our better option? Yeah. Hmm. I think probably so. We'll be closer to our home base by going through to the other end of the mine. Oh, let's let's take a peek up here. What's back up here? Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh, okay. There's the church over there. We'll take we'll take some reishi mushrooms. Yes. Don't mind if I do. And uh, where are these guys? Are they? They were perhaps rose hip bushes at some point. Uh yeah. We'll go back into our mines and see if we can make it back to our home base tonight. Yep. Worst case scenario, we'll have to drink a cup of tea to keep our uh our dealio from reducing. I can't think of hunger hunger that's the word because that's you know a really difficult word to remember apparently oh come on now all right i will see you on the other side once again okie dokie we are carrying 27 kilograms the weather can't tell what it's like just yet Seems not super friendly. Negative six. That's that's not the worst thing ever. We might be able to grab a kilogram of food off of our little bear friend over here before we start going numb. So how's about we go ahead and do that? Ooh. 
Any other friends around here? Uh... Oh my god. Is there a bear gone? Oh my god. Is that where it was? Holy shit. I thought it was right here. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. No, 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 come on! What happened? Did the wolves get to it? What? No! Didn't we just kill it, like, three or four days ago? Oh, what? Why is there scrap metal instead of a bear corpse? Give me a fucking bear corpse! What the hell, game? Well... We might be in trouble, guys. Cause I don't see our wolf corpse either. I don't think we finished... Off... Fuck! No! Well... God damn it. I guess there's a maximum amount of time that you have to harvest the corpse or something. That ain't cool. Ah, oh, I'm so bummed. I don't want to have to drink our tea. We're gonna need that for medicine later. Boo. Alright, so now the question is, do I drink the tea or eat the peanut butter? I guess I'll probably eat the peanut butter because the tea also acts as, you know, medicinal purposes. Whereas the peanut butter is just food. Aw, oh, man! That really bums me out, guys. I'm not a happy camper. Well, alright. I guess we'll spend the rest of our day making our deerskin boots. Um, and then tomorrow, I suppose, we'll try to head over to the other map since that's like... Fuck. That's all we can do at this point, unless we want to take on another bear without a gun, which no, thank you. So, I really hope that bear isn't respawned in addition to its corpse disappearing. That was- that was weird. Saw some... White spots. Huh. Alright. Well, I'll see ya after we work on our boots for a bit. Alrighty, welcome back everyone. I was, once again, no surprise, a bit of a derp and forgot that we still had some bear meat left in our locker. So that didn't get us very far, but it at least got us from our condition continuously reducing from starving. So, uh, I guess next episode we're going to try to go to the other map, see if having our mountaineering rope is going to do us any good, and fingers crossed that that bear isn't there anymore because holy shit if it is I guess we're gonna have two different series ending around the same time so thanks a lot for watching boys and berries and until next time stay foxy